Hi there everyone, it's Mitty and welcome back to another episode of the Bunny Challenge. So, what we're gonna do today is, if you guys want part 7 of the Bunny Challenge today, all you gotta do is give this video a like and let's get it over 300 likes and I will upload part 7. So, I thought I would do that every other video. I thought it would be fun just to kind of keep it entertaining and fun for you guys. So, alright, so in our... Last episode, we decorated. So this was the kitchen. Over here was the little chest area. And up here was the living room. And if you guys remember, I couldn't place a lot of the furniture down from the furniture mod because it wasn't working. I don't know what's going on with it. I've been trying to fix it, but it's just... I don't know what's wrong with it. It says that some of the furniture isn't in the mod. It's weird. I don't know. If any of you guys know what's going on, please let me know in the comment section below and maybe we can try and get it fixed. But this over here, this section is going to be the bunny nursery and I really wanted to decorate the bunny nursery today, but again, I can't use creative. So I have to collect and build everything legitly. So I can't use any cheats. So we're going to have to hold off on decorating the bunny nursery today because I have to collect all the materials and resources in order to do that first. So that's going to take a while. And on my previous episode, I did ask you guys to leave me some comments in the comment section and I'd be choosing some for some ideas for the bunny nursery because I couldn't really think of anything. And I did choose two comments. So I'm going to go ahead and read them off. So the first comment is from Ashley Thompson and she said that I should make the bunny nursery uh, like a garden. So I think I'm going to use that idea. And then Angela also said that I should make the bunny nursery have a sky theme, so the clouds and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do that too. I am going to mix those two ideas together, but I'm gonna need a lot of wool to do so. So we're gonna have to get ourselves some sheep today and breed them so that I can collect a lot of wool in order for us to do this. So I am just going to um, plant some wheat so that I can attract some sheep and then bring them over here and then make a sheep pen and yeah and then I'm gonna dye them pink yellow and cyan and I think those are really pretty colors together and I think they will look really cute in the bunny nursery okay so I grabbed my water bucket so let's go ahead and dig this up so that our wheat can grow and then I can use it to attract some sheep so I do want to build a sheep pen and I do need some pink dye, yellow dye, and cyan dye. The only thing is that cyan dye is going to be a little difficult to get because I need to find lapis and I need to find a desert with cactus in, in it. So it's going to take a while and I'm going to go ahead and collect some more wood because um, I don't think I have any more wood to make a sheep pen. So we're going to do that as well today. So yeah, this episode is just going to be a lot of collecting resources. Not that the last episode wasn't, because it was. You guys just didn't get to see that all. But um, yeah, it's going to be another long episode of collecting resources. But as always, I will try to make it as entertaining as possible for all of you bunnies out there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is collect some wood to build our sheep pen and hopefully once I am done with my sheep pen, uh, the wheat would have grown and I could go ahead and find some sheep to put inside my sheep pen because sheep go inside, sheep pen. I don't know why I'm being so awkward. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and make some fences. Wait, that's not how you make a fence. I forgot how you make a fence. Oh my gosh, my brain is farting. I can, it's like my brain is blank right now. I can't remember how to make a fence and I'm panicking. <laughs> I think it's like this. Is it? <gasps> Yay, it's like that. Ah, <sighs> I'm so newbie. Okay, so I think I'm gonna place my sheep pen around here somewhere. I kind of wanted to move my carrot farm over here, but I guess I could place my sheep pen 
right around this area instead and then just keep my carrot farm where it's at because I do want to eventually make it bigger and expand it. I just haven't had time to work on it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this area out and make it flat and yeah, once I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay, so I flattened out this area and what I'm going to do now is place the fences around so that I can make my sheet pen. Also, I wanted to mention really quick, since I am just making this, is that a lot of you have been messaging me and uh, asking me if it's okay if you do the bunny challenge if you have a YouTube channel. Now, the bunny challenge is open to anyone. Anyone can do the bunny challenge. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the first episode that it was open to anybody who was interested in trying it out. Um, if Even if you are a YouTuber or even if you don't do YouTube and you just kind of want to do it along with me that's fine too I don't mind um, that's what I made it for for everyone to enjoy not just me so for those of you who are doing it already and are on YouTube if you can link me your channel down below and let me know that you're doing it I'm going to list you in the description bar so other people can go ahead and find your videos and enjoy the bunny challenge as well and see how you're coming along so yeah, I thought that would be a really fun idea just so that I could get more people involved and more people can find your bunny challenge videos and stuff like that. So, all right, it's getting a little dark and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place these fences here really quick. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go inside and go to sleep because I don't like working at night. It's kind of dangerous. And, you know, I could die because I'm very prone to that. Okay, so I have started making the top of my sheepy pen and I'm afraid that I'm not going to have enough clay to finish it. So, which means I'm going to have to go inside and harden some more clay. But let's see. Yeah, I don't have any more clay. <laughs> I thought I was going to have enough. So let's go ahead and go back inside and make some more clay. Uh, so that I could finish my sheet pen. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some more pink hardened clay and I think we're done for now. So let's go ahead. Um, I've been building the sheet pen for far too long, but you guys will never know that because, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna edit it to where it only looks like I built it in like a couple of minutes when really, this has seriously took me about an hour to build because <laughs> I had to go look for hardened clay. Then, oh, it was a mess. It was It's just a mess. But finally, we are going to uh, collect our sheep. So come on, little sheepy. Let's go over here to your new home. I will take care of you and dye you pink and you will be yellow and you guys are going to have a baby and that baby is going to be cyan. <laughs> Okay, so they made it into their new home. So let's go ahead and um, we should breed them because I want them to have a baby. And I'm gonna go ahead and dye one of them pink. So I have my pink dye with me. I do, yay. So let's dye, oh, 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 close it. Okay, I didn't want one of them to run out. So let's dye that one pink. And then I'm gonna go inside or I don't know if I have any dandelions but I'm probably gonna have to go find some and then come back and dye the other one yellow okay so I didn't have any dandelions in my chest so I had to come find them so here they are let's punch these punch and then what we're gonna do is take these back and the last color we need is cyan and that's gonna take a while so um, there's our yellow so let's go back so two sheep down one more to go so now all we need to do is go collect some cactus and lapis and that's going to take a while so i'm going to go inside and collect some stuff that i'm going to need to go mining and i think i'm going to go to the ravine i'm pretty sure i saw some lapis there but i'm not 100 percent sure but i did see a little cave underwater it looks like it could lead to another ravine or like an underwater cave or something so i want to go search there just in case because maybe there's more materials there uh but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and collect some stuff and then head over to the cave 
Okay, so I made it to the little underwater cave. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some carrots because I'm kind of starving. And then we'll just jump in and see what's down here.